episode 19 of Dragon Ball Super. And here it goes. So, we technically, officially begin the resurrection of F Saga in today's uh, episode. Yes, you see Sobe, you see his men, Tagom, Tagoma, and Shisame, they're on the ship. So they have suffered massive damage to the ship due to the brief encounter with uh, Shampa and Vatus in the end of the last episode. And they lost pretty much a third of their battalion. So they're losing men ra rapidly fast. And they can't locate the Namekins in order to use their Dragon Balls. So the leader of the squad Sobe makes an executive decision to head to Earth because their only choice up to this point is to revive Breeza so that they can uh, <coughs> resurrect their army and once again take control of the known universe. Well, what's interesting now is with the character of Tagoma. He's actually more bold and brash now compared to the movie, you see more character characterization out of him, if you will. He actually questions Sorbet's decisions. Do we really need to resurrect Frieza? Is one man gonna be one man going to be sufficient enough in order to, you know, spread fear throughout the universe and grasp the control under a tight iron fist of a grip because it turns out that Goma did come across Frieza a long time ago Frieza was uh, was talking with Captain Ginyu and Dodoria and seeing his flashback and Tagoma didn't seem to think that highly of him actually called him that quite a leader would be annoying annoying dictator or the leader so anyway, so Betty uh, answers him nonetheless and saying that resurrecting Frieza is their only option and he shouldn't act and talk such brash and boldly about it. So they make the decision to come to Earth and like the movie, the peel-off gang are uh, searching for the Dragon Balls. Actually, they, what's different is they come across the last one themselves. So they actually have all seven Dragon Balls once again. And they think they're all whole bound, homebound and free. But Sorbe and Tagoma, just them two, just like the movie, they come to Earth and they say pretty much hand over those Dragon Balls. You know? we, we're going to make a wish. And at first, Pill of Gang refused. But then Sorbet shows his might with that laser ring of his and the pillow can quickly submit. So, they get out the Dragon Balls. And before this, when the episode actually starts, we do see, like a movie, the first thing we see is Freezer in his uh, mecha form, in a cocoon, in hell, being um, tortured, and tormented. And Serenade, serenaded by the, the plush, the teddy bears, the, the angels and the fairies and all those key kind of creatures. Actually, when I watch the movie, <laughs> any remnants about that, it's quite a crack up indeed. Anyway, so we see it, and he's like, Damn you! Referring obviously to Captain Rock. So, back, back on Earth, we have Piccolo. And he's babysitting Pan, just like the movie, but we see more characterization that he plays with Pan until Gohan and Pitel return. And then Piccolo senses himself something to miss and sends evil chi from like a far. And Gohan's like, Yeah, now that you mentioned it, Piccolo, yeah, you're right. So they're sensing that. In the meantime, Sorbet, they need to hurry because, you know. If the Z Warriors would uh, catch glimpse and you know, catch up to them, of course they would hold their plans. Anyway, so Sorbe, Resurrection, not just like the movie. And he goes, pretty much, Dragon goes, you know, 
Ah, uh, what you wish. It actually turns out the Dragon Shenron can grant a total of three wishes. Yes, that was something that was misinterpreted uh, in the movie. Like, misconception is that the Shenron, that the dead day, the new guardian of Earth that took over Kami. Misconception was that uh, really then they created three wishes just like the dragon on Namek, not two. You see, it's the reason why it's conceived to be two is because of the three wishes, if you use one to resurrect a multiple amount of people, that already consumes two wishes due to the bloody immensely enormous power that it consumes to, to grant such a wish. So, three wishes. First, Sorbet goes, want you to resurrect Frieza before me! And Shenron goes, it is unwise, it's, it's not a good idea to um, resurrect a soul that can, can't return to a proper body. Because Frieza, having been cut by trunks before trunks blasted him to like me pieces a long time ago, Yes, he would return just like that, in pieces. But to Goma, of course, he reminds Sorbe. Well, we have the uh, the regeneration, you know, chamber or, or like um, uh, that is able to um, return Frieza to his um, old original self. So, and technology has uh, really advanced over the years, you could say. And so Sorbe goes, I don't care, I want Freezer here now! But Tension wants like, oh, you are quite bossy. Bossy. Or oh, in the movie, he goes, it is unwise to be rude to a dragon. And then Sorbe goes, submits a bit and he goes, please resurrect Freezer. And then Shen wants like, oh, it can't be helped. Then I will grant the wish regardless. And all the pieces they fall onto the ground, just like the movie, Frieza, all the mecha pieces. Just before he was killed by drugs, he was actually still alive. Yeah, well, on Namek he was cut in half by his own attack destructo disc, and he's still alive. So, it seems the race of Frieza is quite durable, you know, that really... You have to literally blow him into smithereens for him to die, to be dead. Mm. So, the pieces are there, people are getting freaking out, and uh, so, two wishes remain. And so Bay was like, mm, we can resurrect King Kong with that wish. And just when he was about to talk to Shenrod, <laughs> shoot, the Pilaf gang member, the dog one, he goes, I want the hundred! Um, no, was it one million zenny? That's it. And what was different because it was an extra wish. Like, unlike the movie, yeah. My, the girl, she goes, I want the best tasting ice cream. And Shenron immediately grabs the wishes. One million zenny for shoe and, uh, yeah, ice cream for my in the cold storage um, compartment, yeah. Generous by Shinron. Yeah, he can be known to do that. It's all like Tim You little brats! I was gonna grant those wishes, but then Togoma quickly stopped him and said, We need to move quickly, you know? The, the, the earthlings, they could come at any moment! And so I bet it's like, Alright, alright. And then he, they gather the pieces and they think they have all the pieces and the, uh, put them into this capsule looking thing. And Peel and uh, Emperor Peel off. He goes, um, wait a minute. And so I said, what now? So Peel off goes and goes, uh, I think you've been eating this. And it's actually a piece of Freezer's eye and Freezer's eyeball opens. And so, and so I said, oh shit. And it's like, okay, thank you very much. And they go into the ship, just like the movie. Now here is the interesting part. There was a rumor going around that Captain Ginyu was apparently to return. Captain Ginyu is like in the frog body now, since in Namek he uh, ended up in the frog body. And he had the um, ability to change bodies. But uh, we see him 
as a frog, he's just there, and at the same time, you see the ship. I mean, he recognizes it because it looks like Freezer's ship and all that. And he sees, like, you know, what appears to be the Freezer looking soldiers, and, and Kimu is like, Hold. 